Hello friends, I'm Vitaly Grebichkin and in this video I will briefly tell you about the main features of the release of FreeDelat Creator 1.0. First of all, I want to thank all the people who supported us and helped develop the program and believed in us from the beginning. Therefore, for all who have purchased the program, the update to version 1.0 will be free. For everyone else, I would like to inform you that from the beginning of June, customers will not be able to purchase pro version of 3 Lot Creator by the price of the standard version. So if anyone still has doubts about buying the program, you only have one month left to purchase the pro version at 30% discount. So what's new in version 1.0? The first thing that catches your eye is that the tool switches are now located right on the tabs. Now in order to enable or disable the tool, it's not necessary to open its tab. Let's keep exploring the new interface features, go to the program settings. File Preferences Starting with the version 1.0, it's possible to change the background color in the image window. This is useful if your image has a black background, as mine does here, and you want to see where it ends. Also, on a black background colors seem brighter, so it's sometimes useful to view the picture on a light background to check the overall brightness. Open the settings again. This can be done by pressing Ctrl T. Checkbox border color planes, responsible for showing the color on the edges of the color plane in A, B and C L grids. If the color plane distracts you, but you don't want to disable it completely, you can use this feature. Let's return to the settings once again. It is possible to maintain the proportions of the A, B grid as square. In my opinion, this is a very useful feature because the projection of the color models on the AB grid is a circle. Therefore, it would be logical to see the color plane as a square rather than rectangular. So we always have the correct proportions displayed and the colors on the grid are never distorted. Also, there are many round shaped analysis tools, for example, Vectorscope. By the way, now it has the letters of the primary colors. The square grid perfectly combines with the other major interface feature of the AB grid, which I would call the web. To enable this, you need to go to the grid size drop down list and select any grid dimension with the C letter at the end. C comes from the word circle. With this interface, it's much easier to move individual color sectors. I'll remove all shades of purple and teal from this image. Before, after. And if you choose a new color model HSP Eaton, where color distribution on the grid equals to the Eaton color wheel, you can easily make a certain color harmony in the image. Let me show you how it works with this image here. I'll reduce all colors to blue and orange colors. If you select all the grid nodes by pressing Ctrl A, you can use the Hue tool to rotate all colors around the neutral axis. You can also select only one color and only rotate it. Also, there is a new color model HSP3, which has an advanced distribution of primary colors – red, green and blue. In version 1.0, the edited image can be opened in a separate window. This is done for the convenience of working on two monitors. There is a history window in the new version. Now your actions can be cancelled.
The biggest changes were made with the curves tab. Now the curves are on separate tabs and the curves window itself became bigger. Switching between the different curves takes one click. With regard to the curves functional, the new version has a new set set curve. It allows you to control the output saturation of the image depending on the initial saturation. On the curves histogram the x-axis is the initial saturation, y equals the number of pixels with a given saturation. Using these curves you can, for example, reduce saturation in oversaturated areas only. In this photo I'll reduce the color saturation on the girl's cheek and raise the medium saturated colors. Let's see before, after. Targeted adjustment tools also were changed. Previously they looked like an eyedropper tool on the curves tab with different modes, but it caused confusion. Now there are individual instruments and each instrument has its own cursor. In version 1.0 there is an opportunity to create an alpha channel directly in 3D LUT Creator. Alpha channel is an additional channel of the image which stores a mask or a selection. I'll show you it with an example. Open the new image in Photoshop. I will select the girl's eye. Then I'll invert the selection. Then I'll import the image into 3D LUT Creator holding the Shift key and clicking Image from PS button. At the same time, along with the picture from Photoshop, selection was exported. Let's edit this image. As you can see, the eye didn't get corrected. Now with the Alpha Channel tool you can select individual areas of the image and watch how the LUT works with them. Important to know that only the selected area gets in the analyzers. This is very handy when you need to analyze only a specific area of the image. For example, to see if the skin tone color equals the reference value in the vector scope or not. Let's see it in this photo. I select the Alpha Channel tool and select the skin of the girl's hand. Open the Ectroscope and see only skin tone here. This is how the image looks like in Vectroscope with the disabled Alpha Channel. Let's turn it on again. If you apply any correction to the image, you can see how the skin color will change on the Vectroscope. Now this new feature will make photographers quite happy. In version 1.0 there is batch processing of the photos. The batch dialog window is turned on from the menu file batch processing. You can learn more about batch processing in the manual. Also there is a possibility to save 3D LUTs for the Unity 3G game engine and its amplify color component. A lesson about the use of 3D LUTs in video games is coming soon. This is all for now, download the updated version in your personal account, stay tuned. I'm Vitaly Grebichkin, goodbye.